Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fulgrim Gaming's so Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. And I have to apologize because <laughs> if you saw the last episode, you know we did not know what we yeah, were doing. Yeah, we don't even know how to do this stuff with the library, so guess what? <laughs> we are going to guess. I completely forgot how <laughs> yep, to do this. We're going to guess. And I know you guys are like, what the? F well, anyway, better not waste time. You know, whatever. All right, uh, first so what one who gives. <laughs> whatever. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> awesome. What's he even screaming about? Oh, best, because he's the I best, yeah. That was freaking <laughs> beast. So oh we my. got key card 65 out of that, and I thought we'd get a, another item. I mean, yeah, he, he should give you incentive. Yeah, yeah, elemental, okay. What that does, uh, if you guys don't know, you can equip that to your armor or your weapon, and then equip something like, you can link, like, lightning. A fire and it won't yeah. take fire damage or whatever. Yeah, you can absorb fire damage, and your you'll give your weapon sort of an elemental edge like oh, that. Oh, yeah. so do we just go in here, right? Yeah, go upstairs. Oh, well, you, can you use oh, the staircase? Well, I don't too know. Bad, too I don't know, I think you can do either you know way. You I, I, this part of the game is such a, a haze, a fog to me. Oh, dang, well, there you go. We're, I'm not gonna run up 65 <laughs> floors. What floor were we just on? 62? Oh, dang. Should we go back to 63 and 64? Was there something there? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, I there? don't know. This is for the completionist thing. So everybody can see what's going on. Well, there's stuff in here. Might as well up logs. Oh, uh, no. I knew it. No, I know what to do here. Go to the main, the center in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that's a giant model of the uh, Shinra, Shinra upper plate. You want to find the rest of the pieces. See how there's missing pieces? Yeah. Yeah, you just they're in boxes around the place. So you just go All around right. and find them. Well... The These are still uh, locked. If those right? are locked, go to another room. Yeah, I think those are item boxes you can't get to later or something. I don't know. Oh, awesome. Alright, so... Alright, so we gotta find the pieces of that thing, right? Yes, check the boxes. Alright, oh go to the Lord. room to the left. I, maybe we have to actually walk up and inspect the cracks or something like that. Fine. If that's not it, then check that room right there. Well, I'll check this room first, I guess. Alright, one of them should oh open. It has God. to have a piece. It's like Midgar City parts. There. Yeah, see? There, told you. Is that the only one? No, it'll open up after you put one in, so go See, on. like this part, I don't know. I just don't remember this part at all. <laughs> Saving it. Alright, where does this part go? Just anywhere, walk up to it, press circle. I can't even tell where the broken spots are at. Oh, right, there, there you go. Alright. I can't tell which one. Place the... it. Alright, there oh, you go. There, oh, see, that's oh. all. Now something opened up, so another so box another is box. open. Woo! Yep. So. I thought I was going to completely not, not even know. <laughs> thought we were going to restart and everything. So you've got to, like, guess which box? Yep, basically. I swear, I just guessed that box. All right, fine. Go, right. And you just keep placing the pieces in over and over, and I think there's, like, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Five pieces you have is to Is this necessary? Yep. Apparently, like, I, th it, I think this is, like, you have to do this to get a key card. So, I guess. So is this practical for people who want to get to the upper floors? They have to put that work here. Yeah, they do have they have they have to find Midgar parts and plug them into the model of the city? Maybe this is like a security feature. Or oh something. my god, <laughs> that's a dirty security feature. All right. Well, while I'm doing this, oh, awesome. All right, another random battle. But anyway, while I'm doing this, I have some topics that I kind of want to talk about. You know? Yep. And the first one is, I forgot the name of the game. I can't remember if it's Final Fantasy XIII versus Final Fantasy I think it's versus XIII. I don't remember what it is. It's been in development forever. I didn't even know about it until recently. But anyway, what is it that we wanted to talk about exactly about this? We want to talk about how we, uh, what, we were looking at internet articles, right? And we read an article on Final Fantasy versus XIII and how people are already expecting it to not be good before it's even come out. But basically, like based on past experiences with Square Enix, like recently, I mean, yeah, like, I kind of don't expect it to be that good either. That's a shame, though. I this, mean, this, this, I remember oh when the God. Final Fantasies were about to come out; it would be like a big thing. It would be know? an event, a new Square game. Now it's just try that one right there. Well, fine. There you go. Like, do they go into like a specific spot? <laughs> no, or? just anywhere. Whatever. There's a crack. All right, so. I forgot exactly what they were talking about, why it was going to be a bad game, and I know it's not a good idea to reveal, uh, not reveal, to review a game before it's out, Yeah. Know, but just based on Square Enix's past couple games, I'm not probably, I'm not even looking forward to it. Like, I know before 13 came out, pre-13, I was still excited for it, yeah. and I got it, and then fast forward a little bit to 13 2, and I was just completely not even interested at all. 13, when it came out, I like I heard it was coming out for the 360 and everything, and I was all excited, and I just didn't even get it, and apparently I wasn't missing much, because I no. bought it three years later. And it's been collecting and it dust blows. in his freaking drawer over here. Yeah, I bought that thing, <laughs> I even got like expedited shipping and everything to get it here fast, just because I really wanted to play it, it has, I have not touched it. It's literally just too linear, and I know 13 2, they opened it up a lot, but they, the damage has been done already. Yeah. Well, like, it already has a bad rep. I'm not saying the game is bad. I haven't played it myself. I'm just saying the reputation it has is not the greatest. Alright, so then... Uh, In the track... What? Isn't there... Is, I don't know if any other Final Fantasy games coming out. 
Uh, let know. me see. Versus 13. They're probably going to have spinoffs like Dissidia on PSP fighting yeah. games and all this. There's Keycard key 66. So I don't... Now what? Just go just up? Just go upstairs, yeah. Alright. Come on, Cloud. There you go. I think this might be the science wing. No, this is the executive stuff. I don't... I seriously don't remember <laughs> this part of the game at uh, all. Oh, let me see. Alright, what you want to do here is you want to go into is the... There keys in, in here? I, the, don't I think you want to go into the bathroom. Why? Yeah, go to the bathroom. See, I knew it. My memory's saving us, like, left and right over here. Get up the bathroom. You want to climb. Yeah, climb up. This is ridiculous. What you're trying to do here is you're climbing up in the vent. I don't know if you guys noticed. There's a big boardroom in the middle of this floor. Yeah. You guys are going to eavesdrop on oh. the Shinra executives in their boardroom. Don't tell me it's one. And you went back down to the Fine. toilet. <laughs> this is beast. All right, you got to get climb up, and you just literally just eavesdrop on them. You get a you know you get a hint of their plans for the future. One thing I don't like about like <laughs> it's not that I don't like it, but when you climb up or when you go to a new screen, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. What yeah, because they, they completely remap the button or whatever. All right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, dang. See, there on. we go. All right, this is a pretty important scene. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. Right. I'll, do, I'll do I don't even remember. We have the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up and all the investments, the damage is estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. Holy crap. Dang, is that about the Sector 7 stuff? The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. Why would they not... What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is. And we're restarting the Neo Midgar plan. Oh. Oh man, Neo Midgar. Then the Ancients? The promised land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates 15% in every area. They're gonna kill the planet. <laughs> it's like gas. Rate height, rate height, tra ha ha. <laughs> and please include our space program in the budget. Sounds like our world. Eh? Yeah, no. Reeve and Scarlet will divide the extra income from the rate increase. Who's Scarlet? I have no idea. Oh, man. Oh, Palmer's hilarious. <laughs> He's, like, flipping out. Sir, if you raise the rates, people will lose confidence. It'll be all right. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra Inc. even more. What an idiot. Dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the good characters. I get all I the dead serious characters. After all, we're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche. Oh, yeah, they saved it. That dirty boo. <laughs> Speaking of that, I forgot to bleep out a certain character's name in the last episode. Ah, well, so. Don't draw attention to oh. it. Oh, Hojo, who gets to be Hojo? You can be Hojo. Hojo, I'll that's be Hojo, because you're already Shinra. Aw, oh, dang it. All right, you got to the science voice. Now. As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother. If fall enough? I guess, <laughs> I don't know. But for now, the difference is 18%. How long will the research take? Probably a hundred and twenty years. Yeah, they're gonna all be dead. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime. Or in the lifetime of the specimen, too, for that matter. What's the point, then? Dang, his African eyes. <laughs> He's got a his... ridge, a brow ridge. Holy crap. Dang. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we could create one that could withstand our research for a long time. What about the promised land? Won't it hinder our plans? Uh-oh. It's good. I gotta think Yeah, I know. That. That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong and yet has her weaknesses. Oh my hey, He's like God. freaking cackling hard. That's not even a laugh. That's I just know. Like, dang. That concludes our meeting. So yeah, what did we, we find out here? We, Promised <laughs> Land, Hojo? Yeah, what we is, found out. On? Promised Land, they're trying to continue the Neo Midgar plan. They're talking about doing breeding on the ancients or something like that. So They're raising also, Mako rates 15%. Didn't we, like, the Mako reactors were already a problem. And now they're increasing it by 15%. Yep. And by the way, like they just mentioned, the ancient they're talking about is most likely who? Eris' mother. All right, get out of here, Cloud. Come Dang. on, Cloud, there's nothing else to see. Falna is Eris' mother. Yep. And, wait, is it Falna still alive? She is dead. Pretty yeah. sure she died at the train station. That's why uh, So Elmira... they're talking about Eris, then. Oh, yeah. Then they must be talking about Eris. I know Falna is the mother, though. But yeah, well, I guess yeah. the ancient in question is Eris, yeah. All right, so now where do we go? We go up a floor to the 67th floor. Do we have the key cards to go up there? Let's check. This uh, part... Oh, oh dang, no, up? follow Hojo, dang. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it... that was a lucky guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lucky guess. Isn't there a boss fight coming up? Uh, yeah, but it's a little... We have cutscenes and stuff before All right, that. fine. Follow him up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, in particular, do not remember this part <laughs> of the He's game. going beast. All right. Oh, have a pardon him. All right, so we're on the 67th floor. This is the spy, uh, science, the science research development wing. Is there a new uh, ally coming up? Or new ally. Later? No, it's coming up. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was yep. going to say. All right, so you guys will get to see what... Fifth, uh, yeah, fifth. All right, fifth oh, ally. Dang. I was trying to think of how many numbers or how many allies we have. All right. I remember him. That Hojo guy, he's in charge of the Shinra science department. Cloud, don't you know him? Uh, apparently not. 
this is the first time I've actually ever seen him, so that's what he looks like. Oh, Alright, fine. Whatever. <laughs> the right. pauses are so awkward. Now, I guess we just gotta find Hojo. Yep, follow him. Just follow him. Look into that little bright window, oh, by the way. Me. Oh, dang, what's happening? It's just, uh, alright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look is in that, there. I think I remember what that is. Look in there. <laughs> ah, man, and there's our new, uh, well, I'm not gonna spoil uh, it. Uh, God, yeah. I think if it's what I think it is in that purple window right there, and I'm probably gonna have a heart attack on the mic. <laughs> yeah, who cares what he says? He yeah, have a name. Alright, but anyways, that, that thing in the, the bright light over there, that's actually the name you revealed, so yep. you didn't really... So actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not deal. that bad. If right. they would let me move, I would show you. I know we have to look at Hojo bobbing his head. Look his feet. How does Hojo not see cloud over there? His glasses are thick. I, I don't guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let me look Dang, in the window. Look at that dog. What's that thing? I don't know. He's like red. Or yeah, something. I know. Tifa has no fear. She's just gonna lean in and look at him. Yeah, Why would it be if like it popped up? What broke the glass? Yeah. <laughs> oh my one god. One time, by the way. Well, we can explain this later, but one time I was at the zoo, I was going to say the hospital. I was at the <laughs> zoo, and somebody, somebody was knocking on the... No. Somebody was knocking on the... Or is, is he going to Oh, open dang. Do you know what? I'll explain that That's for in a second. That's the creepiest music. Listen. Awesome. So, so creepy. Genova. There Please she don't. is. <gasps> completely decapitated for you guys who couldn't see there. Disgusting. Dang. Yep, that's Genova. I said Genova, by the way, in the last episode. That's Genova. Didn't really reveal all that much. Yes, Genova is going to be a central antagonist in the game. We'll be finding more about her in a second. What's, her, what's going on with Cloud here? He is flipping out. Genova, Sephiroth, so they brought it here. Cloud, be strong. Did you see it? See what? It's moving. It's still alive. Genova? There's no way that thing's still alive. It's got no head and it's still moving. That's freaking disgusting. Where's its beep head? This whole thing's stupid. Let's keep going. Do they Baird. know who Genova is or no? Baird and Tifa don't know. Cloud knows. Yeah, Cloud. All right, so let's talk. Uh, we guess. can't even mess with that thing. All no. right, should you go back? No. Or go over there? Yeah, past the curve. All right, so what I was going to talk about... And by the way, there's an item here. Where? What is it? Right there, that box next to the safe Oh, point. good. Yep. Yeah, pretty sure it's a phoenix down, right? Oh, I tried. tried. Your it's just come on. Might as well say it. it's been a while. Yeah. But anyway, I was at the zoo one time. And somebody was knocking on the glass at, like, the gorilla exhibit. Oh, he flipped out. The gorilla charged at the glass, and I'm pretty sure somebody, uh, soiled their pants. Oh my, I actually have a good animal glass story, too, believe it or not. I was at Sea, let's be really quick, I was at Sea World, and we were looking at the, we looked at the walruses at Sea World, right? Yeah. And he fully had a crowd in front of the tank. And he presses bull against the glass. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. And by bull, uh... Yeah, we mean, mean, mean his, uh, nether regions. I, uh, what, yep. what animal was this? Walrus. <laughs> fully against the glass. It was disgusting. <laughs> the kids were, like, hiding behind their strollers. Dang. Mothers were blushing. It was ridiculous. Wasn't there a ghetto positioning device or something like yes. that? Yes. Yeah, See, he that? remembers. I told him yeah. about this. GPS. We saw it at SeaWorld. Ghetto, ghetto positioning. positioning system. All right, now let me explain this to you. This is so <laughs> GPS. All right, it looks basically looks like a lightsaber. For you guys who know Star Wars, everybody does. Maybe not you. But <laughs> anyways, lightsabers. It looks just like a lightsaber. It's a big glow stick. And there was literally random kids going around this huge amusement park with these glow sticks no parents at all and <laughs> we called it a ghetto positioning system because they would wave it in the air for their parents to find them I'm not even kidding and there's like 50 kids with this so how are the parents going to find the kids I don't know where do we go now all the way in the back again Dang. yep all the way in the back you want to get into the elevator oh did I not go in that nope earlier? I freaking. Be I thought I went in there, and came out, and then got the item. So now you're gonna get over here and oh I'm on the top right? yeah now we got another good cutscene coming right. up Eris we found Eris Eris? Oh, is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Eris back. Outsiders. Don't even bring yeah, them. Yeah, I know. Should've noticed it early, you. There's so many frivolous things in this world. It's so crazy. Hojo's so... I know. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ugh. That's right. I recommend you think things out logically before you make any rash moves. Now, bring in the specimen. Oh, God. Is the specimen that thing we yeah, just saw? Yeah, that the, uh... dog. Dang, you can actually see Eris in that little container. Did I see her? Dang, I didn't even notice She's her. She's in the sample container. They're treating her like an animal. I wonder if it says sample in Japanese. Who there. knows? Or in the Japanese Maybe it's version. one of those Oh, Texas don't kill things. him. What the oh, heck is going dang. on? It's getting confrontational. 
Dang, it's darting it's the tail out. Yeah. She's like, Cloud, <laughs> help! Oh, oh, oh. Dang, you're going to be. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, breathe, oh breathe! God. Lending a helping hand to an endangered species. Both of them are on the brink of extinction. If I don't help, all these animals will disappear. She's not an animal. Dang. You could be teeth I'll be everybody. <laughs> animal, that's terrible. Eris is a human being. I'll be Eris, by the way. You're gonna pay. Oh, dang. Barrett, can you do anything? Well, just shoot the glass. Oh, he's that's gonna That's literally try. what he's gonna do. All right, step back. Stop. <laughs> no, he's gonna damage all your precious equipment. You should, wouldn't it ricochet? No. Again? Don't, don't bring logic into this. Oh, apparently oh, it turns it glowing. I don't know. Maybe an air seal, what, bro? What do you do? Oh, my precious specimens. I have no idea what's going on. What happened to Ares? Oh, what's going on? Oh, dang it, it opened. opened. Dang, it's gonna kill him! Oh, get him! Oh, yes! Oh, dang, it's like ripping out his jugular. Now's our chance to get Ares! Where's Ares? Oh, there she did is. Did we just get Ares back for good? I don't know, maybe. Thanks, Cloud! Alright, so what now she's running. <laughs> I'm trying. All right. You know, we switch back and forth between Tifa and Ares like I know. I know. Cloud! Or Cloud! <laughs> what's wrong? Dang, Tifa got a deep voice. The <laughs> elevator's moving. This is a boss fight, by the way. This is no ordinary specimen. This is a very ferocious specimen. How d I know. He's rather strong. I'll help you all out. Is that the dog? I, I, yeah, it was. They it talked? Uh-oh. Me him. I <laughs> I'll talk as much as you want later, miss. Oh, dang, you want to be based? <laughs> all right. You got it. I, you know, so <laughs> we'll take voices. care of that monster. Somebody take air somewhere safe. Uh, All right, who do we want to take care of Bears? I, I would give it to Tifa because I want Bears. I think, uh, yeah, I'm about to say, I think Bears felt stronger. All right, so give her, give, let Tifa. Let the know. girls go. What's your name? Oh, this is. Yep. Oh, Joe, I can't do the, do the accent. British accent. You want me to try? Fine. All right, Hojo has named me Red 13, a name with no meaning whatsoever to me. Call me whatever you wish. What should we call him? I think we're just going to leave his name. All right. <laughs> he does have another name, by the way, but we'll keep yeah, it. Yeah, that's. We'll keep it. When did you find that out? Late, late in the game. Yeah. Right. Come on! Fair All right, fight. boss fight coming up. There's actually four bosses here. Four? One big one, three mini ones. And there's kind of a little bit of a trick to doing this. I don't remember exactly. All right. Well, well they you know, are. Everyone's kind of low on health here. Might as well. Uh... I think if you cure him, it'll hurt him. Really? I think so. Well, the next time he comes around, I'll try. I think yeah, I don't so. think we've used an ice thing. Oh, my. Oh, everyone... everybody's poisoned. Cure That's doesn't help, does it? Or does it cure stuff? Like, status elements? Uh, no. No, you need to assume that. In Super that. Mario RPG, it does, all right? Aw, group hugs. Yeah, group hugs. None of that Super Mario here. RPG. Heals status elements and everything. All right. All right, try, try a cure on him. It's if only one. If it cures one. him, I swear. I d don't get mad. I'm going to say it's <laughs> worth a shot. I mean, all a Phoenix right. Down worked in Final Fantasy VIII. Remember that? Yeah, so but... I think it will literally hurt him. All right, forget oh it. I'm beast. All right, God. awesome. It doesn't matter. Two hits and it'll, you'll take Should it. Should I take the guys out in front first or the? Uh... No, use your limit breaks on the big kid. All right, cross fine. slash. Nick. You know that kind of reminds me. Have you ever seen the uh, suplexing a train video? No, or, no you I haven't showed was, me that. I forgot which Final Fantasy it was. I think it was the, the one with the ghost train. I think it was six. Ghost no. train. Ah, crap. I think I that's eight, remember. isn't it? No, it's not eight. It's one of the old games. Uh, I don't remember. Dang, he's paralyzed. Dude. Oh, he was for a second. You know what? It's getting sweaty. Let's go. Just go for it. Just go. Just keep hammering away at him. Don't, don't worry about the three kids in front. Yeah. Let's go for the big one in the back. All right. So I forgot what game it was, but the guy. It was some guy. I think it was six. I don't remember. It was some martial artist suplexed a train. What? Yeah. It was the ghost train. He picked it up. He like, threw it up in the air and brings it back down on his back. And it was re anyway. Is it never mind. Is that the Doom train? Yeah, I think it might be. I don't remember. Do you remember what game it was? I don't. Unfortunately, I don't, guys. Dang, I'm, yeah. I'm sitting here. There's a guy in the beginning, who, I think he's mainly martial arts. I think it's Six. I don't know. I don't remember. If, if, is it, um, I know the martial artist in Six is Savin. Is it him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right, there I'm you go. I'm pretty sure that's it. There you go. All right. All right. I was, th I was thinking of Final Fantasy VIII. There's a guy in Final Fantasy VIII where his main weapon's a boat anchor. Oh, my. Do you know who dude. that guy is? His name is, like, Hugo or something? I, I don't know his name. My, you know, I never... No, no he he's in flashback sequences of Final Fantasy VIII. His weapon is a boat boat anchor. <laughs> yep, he no, it's funny too because he throws it at the enemy and then he goes and retrieves it. Dang. Yep, that's all he does. This thing is almost dead. It has to be. Dead. It has to be. See, look, it's paralyzed. You see that? Right. It's not Dang, even moving. Gets, hey, I've never used the sense material. Let's try it. Oh, damn! Perfect time for it. <laughs> Dang, even Red Thirteen has it. Oh, he did, didn't he? He has there, level 19, and his name was. Uh, oh, he has like one hit left. There. Kill him! <laughs> Kill him! That's a pretty cool material, by the way. The sense, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of unnecessary with the internet, but yeah. Oh well, it's always cool to have a little bit of an old school touch right there. All right, so he's got to be close. Oh nope. 
Dang, our attack sucks. Probably because he's in the back row. Oops. Oh, did you just attack one of our own? Yeah. No, I attacked. Oh, I thought you attacked one of our guys. I was about to say you go beast. That poison's ridiculous. I don't think I, I have anything to cure it, do I? He's almost dead. Please, Please God. <laughs> Come on. If you die. If I die, if I might you never die, play this game again. Cure, cure, Barry. He needs it. Oh my. I, that was a cure all, right? No. Are you what the? No, the are cure. Are you kidding me? Yeah, cure all doesn't work all the time. He's. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. He didn't turn red like the rest of the enemies. That's weird. He just disappeared, dang. That well, was the. That was pretty close. Fight. Yeah. We got all oh, bare. When I'm on the uh, when I'm on the controls here, you know you're going for a run. <laughs> yeah. Is that a materia? What in the thing? Yeah. yeah dang. I'm oh, gonna read it. <laughs> she seems all right in many ways. I have a right to choose two. I don't <laughs> like. I have a right to choose two. I don't like two-legged things. What are you? An informed question, but difficult to answer. I am what you see. You must have many questions, but first, let's get out of here. I'll lead the way. Cloud, so you did come for me. <laughs> I guess I'll be here. I, just, I don't know. <laughs> we're, who cares? I apologize for what happened back there. I was merely acting to throw Hojo off guard. Now we saved Eris. Ain't no need to be in this building, so let's get the hell out of here. If all five of us go together, we'll be unnoticed. Let's break up into two groups. If all five of us go together, we'll be noticed. <laughs> all right, thanks. Fine, fine. It's completely opposite. Oh, like, my God. All right, so menu to access the menu. What I do do? say keep Cloud Bear right there, You know, I might as well go ahead and click. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what? Heal Cl everybody real quick. Oh, I don't man. know what's coming up. Might Ooh, as well Barrett has a fury. I think... <sighs> Didn't we pick up... I think we picked up a tranquilizer. That should help with that. All right, do you want me to go ahead and... Yeah, go ahead and check if it does. There. Does it? Yes! <laughs> Memories, please. All right, so I don't have anything to heal... Oh, they're not poisoned anymore, so that matter. Oh, dang. Wow, we're like at 25 minutes. You want to end it at this little decision part right here? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, oh, crap. All right, so we're actually, this is a weird place to end the episode, but I guess we might as well. Yeah. Do you remember what's after this? Right like, after this, we split up, we find our way out of the Shinra headquarters, and then they catch us. All right, so to, you know, I guess build the suspense, we're going to end yeah, it right Yeah, we're going to leave a cliffhanger for you guys. It's going to happen, right. even though I just told you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you guys back in the next one. Yep, see you next time.